Good afternoon. My name is Amelia Strickland and this is Hannah Cade and today we're going to provide a brief overview of the Oral and Written Language Scales 2nd Edition, also known as the OWLS 2. Okay, the OWLS 2 is an assessment that's used to identify and remediate oral and written language problems. Um, this test consists of four sections which are listening comprehension, oral expression, reading comprehension, written expression. Um, all these scales can be administered separately and also together in combination. Um, the age ranges for this test are ages 3 years to 21 years, 11 months for the listening comprehension and oral expression and 5 years to 21 years, 11 months for the reading comprehension and written expression. Um, the OWLS 2 is designed to identify strengths and weaknesses in language. It's also used to determine the existence of language delays and disabilities. Um, it assists in determining eligibility for services and also determining intervention when planning. The first section of the OWLS 2 we're going to discuss is listening comprehension or LC. The process measured during the listening comprehension section is receptive oral language. Items are presented verbally and pictorially. The examiner reads the stimulus word aloud and the examinee points to one of four pictures that best depicts the meaning of the word. For example, the examinee will have four pictures that are numbered presented on an easel. The examiner will say, show me the hat. The examinee will then point to the picture of the hat or say the corresponding number. This section of the test takes approximately 10 to 20 minutes to administer. The next section of the OWLS 2 we're going to discuss is oral expression or OE. The process measured during the oral expression section is receptive, expressive oral language. Items are presented verbally and pictorially. The examinee responds with spoken answers to the oral and pictorial prompts. For example, the examiner will show the examinee a picture of a shoe and ask, what is this? The examinee will then respond with, that is a shoe. This section of the test takes approximately 10 to 30 minutes to administer. The next section we're going to discuss is reading comprehension, also known as RC. Um, the process measured during the reading comprehension section of the OWLS 2 is receptive written language. Items and responses are presented within, presented within a text. The examinee reads a written prompt and then indicates one of four response options by pointing or speaking. Um, for example, the examiner will instruct the examinee to read words, then match the words with pictures located on an easel. The examinee will then point to the correct word or tell the clinician the correct answer. This section of the test takes 10 to 30 minutes to administer. Next is the written expression or WE section of the OWLS 2 and the process measure during this section is expressive written language. Um, items are presented verbally and visually. The examiner presents an oral, written, or pictorial prompt and the examinee writes his or her answer in a response booklet. For example, the examinee or the examiner will show the examinee the word banana and the examinee will copy the word in the response booklet. This section of the test takes 15 to 30 minutes to administer. Scoring for the OWLS 2. Each previously discussed section of the test yields its own interpretable score. These scores may also be combined to generate a composite score. <clears throat> the scale scores consist of age-based and grade-based standard scores, test age and grade equivalents, percentile ranks, and descriptive categories such as above average, below average, poor, etc. Okay, the composite scores for oral language, written language, receptive language, and expressive language, and also overall language are achieved by combining the following scales. Um, oral language is achieved by the combination of listening comprehension and oral expression, written language by combining reading comprehension and written expression, receptive language combining listening comprehension and reading comprehension, expressive language combining oral expression and written expression, and overall language by a combination of the four, which are listening comprehension, oral expression, reading comprehension, and written expression. 
categorization of items. The items used when administering the owls to are categorized according to the linguistic structure or structures that they measure. Um, listed below are the certain categorizations. Um, the first is lexical and semantic. And this consists of nouns, verbs, modifiers, idioms, prefixes, and suffixes. Um, the next is syntactic grammatical morphemes, which are function words such as pronouns, prepositions, conjunctions, auxiliaries, determiners, and also inflections. Uh, Cynic structure is also um, within this category, which is referred back to word order, sentence complexity, accuracy, and type. And the next is superlinguistic non-literal language which are things such as double meaning, inference, verbal reasoning, figurative language, indirect requests, and humor. Next, pragmatics, which is the functional and social characteristics of language. Next is text structure, and it is used in the reading comprehension and written expression sections only, and it is the knowledge and performance of the combination of all other categories to create lengthy text passages to be read or written. Last, we have conventions, and it is used in the written expression section only. Conventions consist of letter formation, which is a fine motor skill, spelling, punctuation, and capitalization. The OWLS 2 is a great test to choose because of its reliability and validity. Reliability refers to consistency, stability, and predictability of test scores. Types of reliability tested for the OWLS 2 consist of internal reliability, test retest reliability, and iterator reliability. <clears throat> internal reliability refers to the internal consistency of examining responses to items on the test. The OWLS 2 have replication of high internal consistency across both typical and atypical samples, which provides evidence that the OWLS 2 will have in internally consistent stable scores on the settings in which it, it will be used. Test retest reliability refers to the stability of test scores over time and test scores are not expected to change over time. The ALS-2 test retest interval was two weeks. For both forms A and B of each section, the two week test retest correlations range from 0.73 to 0.95 with a median of 0.85. For the composite scores, the correlations range from 0.85 to 0.95 with a median of 0.92. These coefficients are satisfactory for tests of developing abilities. Next is the inter-rater reliability, and it was estimated using inter-class correlation coefficient. The results indicated a high level of agreement between different raters who use the same written instructions. Validity refers to whether or not the test measures what it purports to measure. The ALS-2 has construct validity, convergent validity, and discriminative validity. Construct validity refers to how well a test performs in measuring a theoretical construct of interest. The ALS-2 factor analysis supports the validity of the underlying constructs of the integrative language theory. Convergent validity examines a test relationship to existing measures of similar constructs. The strong associations for the oral language scales and composite lend confidence to the idea that the original ALS validation evidence is supportive of the validity of the ALS-2. Lastly, discriminative validity, and it refers to the capacity of test scores to distinguish between groups of participants who are expected to differ in the ability that is measured. Evidence of validity was shown during this study as well. It is essential that individuals are not penalized for speaking or writing in a way that is consistent with their culture and dialect. Therefore, the ALS-2 developed alternate acceptable responses for students who speak dialectical variations of English. For example, the oral and written expression scales provide examples of common responses by speakers of African American English. Um, some of our impressions of the test are that it is easy to administer. Um, the techniques that are used we found easy to follow. And also charts that are supplied within the manuals for scoring are good for comparison of scores. And the pictures that are used on the easels while administering the test are interesting and we felt that they would keep the client engaged and interested in the test. And then um, also the directions, as I said, are clear and concise and easy to follow. And so now um, we're going to demonstrate some of the test materials, um, the listening comprehension, oral expression, reading comprehension, and written expression scales.
The first example we're going to do is from the listening comprehension section. Um, so Amelia, I want you to look at all of the pictures here on the page. I will say something, then I want you to point to the picture or say the number of the picture that goes with what I have said. Let's try one. Show me the hat. Three. Good job. Now we're going to do an example from the oral expression section of the test. I'm going to show you some pictures. Sometimes I will ask you a question about the pictures. Other times I will need you to finish a sentence about the pictures. Let's try one where I ask you a question about the picture. What is this? A shoe. That's right. Now let's try one where you finish a sentence about the pictures. Here is a boy and here is a girl. Good job. Now we're going to do an example from the reading comprehension section. Let's read some words. Look at the picture at the top of the page. Now look at the four words at the bottom of the page. Which word goes with, with, with this picture? Point to your answer or tell me the number for your answer. One. Yes. This is a picture of a boy. And yes, this is the word boy. Good job. And last, an example from the written expression would be, I would ask Amelia to write her name on the line, and she would write her name, and then I'd ask her to write her last name, and she would write her last name. Okay, so this is a list of our references that we use throughout our presentation today, and we hope that you found it helpful and informative, and that you